Hi guys. Picked me up a new toy last night. I got me a little uh, GoPro, one of the new nines. It's got the little screen on the front so I can kind of see if I'm centered or not. Um, so I was getting ready to do a little metal work for a job and I thought I'd give my camera a try and, and see if I could record some of this stuff. I don't know if it'll help anybody, but it might. I, just, I finished this little piece. All it was was a piece of uh, eight inch by 22 inch wide trunk that I bought. And then I made this little extension flange to go on the side. It's got Pittsburgh seams on, at the corners. And then I uh, put it together with a, a piece of uh, S-lock, a couple of screws to pin it top and bottom and then sealed it up good. This is going to uh, protrude through a two by six wall and then extend down into the crawl space of a little cabin I'm working on. But what I've got to do now, I need to, uh, I need to build a a plenum box to go on the end of a uh, 17 and a half by 21 inch air handler so i've tried to sketch it out here because i'm terrible about uh, especially with these pittsburgh seams uh getting them on the wrong side and everything so i tried to sketch this out to see if i could uh, make a box pretty easily uh, the pieces of metal i need i'm going to need two pieces 22 by 48 i'll need two pieces 21 and a quarter by 21 and then i'll need two pieces 19 and a half by uh 19 and a half or one piece rather so uh my metal's 48 inches wide so i'm going to cut an 18 by 48 which will give me those two uh, 21 by 48 will give me these two and then a 19 and a half by 48 will give me this one uh, i like using this uh stomp share it's a lot easier than cutting it by uh by hand in the old days when i'd make these boxes i'd try to make as few as seams as possible so i'd usually rip a piece to try to fold it up into a, a, a circular box but if I can learn to use this Pittsburgh machine uh, I should be able to uh, uh, be able to use this shear and not have to uh, cramp my hand so bad you got to be careful when you have a dry erase board and you use a sharpie <laughs> ask me how I know I'm going to uh, Major the little 18 inch piece first here. And I'll just stick it back in my shear. Line it up. So that was my 18 inch wide piece, which needs to be two 22 inch pieces out of it. I'm just gonna mark the 22s. I'll, I'll edit this video some so you don't have to sit there and watch all the dead space when I'm, when I'm marking and turning and cutting. Let's see if I can get my two pieces out of this one 48 inch piece. There's a start. I'll uh, get these other two pieces uh, chopped out before I uh, come back. Okay, this is our uh, two, basically our top and bottom. This thing's gonna be horizontal in a crawl space. So it's this piece right here, 21 and a quarter by 21, 21 and a quarter is this long ways. I'm gonna have a one inch flange laying out on top of the air handler and coming up underneath the air handler um, and then this space over here is going to be where I put a Pittsburgh seam it's going to shrink in an inch when I do this same thing over here and then at the very back uh, across the back here will be a uh, quarter inch flange to go in another Pittsburgh uh, seam coming up this way so I'm going to take this over and run the two Pittsburghs on each side and after I do that, we'll uh, take it over and cross break it and bend a little flange on it.
So we got our two Pittsburgh seams on the side. Again, this flange here will be what lays out on top of the air handler. And then we've got a quarter inch flange to turn down in the back. Uh, and then we need to cross break this to give it some strength. So we'll do this when the fan comes on and off. Uh, I've tried cross breaking it before I send it through the Pittsburgh and it's hard to lay it down flat on that table. So what I usually do is come over here and use this finger brake. Uh, I've already got a finger tuck out on this one. So I'll come over here, see if I've got a better option coming this way. Yeah, there's a pretty good option. I think we'll do something like that. We'll, we'll pull this, uh, this one out right here and then we can cross break it both directions without messing up the Pittsburgh too bad. So be a diagonal across through here. We'll just, and we're on the inside, we can tell by this seam because this piece is to fold up on the outside. So we'll give it a little good proud break there. I think we can get something like that. And the only thing left is this little quarter inch guy. And I'll do the same thing with it. I'll, uh, I'll take out a finger somewhere that's the right width. May have to wait and do it in a minute when I, I'll go ahead and do that other one while I'm set up for the cross brakes. But that'll be the last little piece of fabrication to do on that top piece will be to uh, turn this down for the back. So there's our tops and bottoms. So we've got a, let's see the 19 and a half and 19 and a half is the back. So it's this guy. So it gets a quarter inch flange on two sides and a Pittsburgh on the other two. So I'll have to notch the corners here. What I'll do, I'll come in a quarter inch and then an inch and a quarter. That gives me room to keep that Pittsburgh out of my way and I'll notch that. And then the uh, same thing on the other end, it'll be symmetrical. So I got the notches made in this piece, so I'll run it through this gap. Take it over and cross break it and put the little flanges on the other ends. Okay, this would actually work for my uh, 
my little cord wrench bend. Um, this will work for my cross brakes. If I put this piece back in, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. some of these around. There's the best spot right there. there is our back so we have two more uh, I guess sides to make and then we can beat it together Well, the only thing left is to bend this down, but there's no good way to do that with this particular brake that I can think of without squishing this. So I'll just do that with my uh, bending bar. So I've got to make one more of these and then we'll be ready to uh, put it together. Now when these uh, factory people that make these for a living uh, make a box like this, they'll use a uh, Pittsburgh seam on one side and then they'll use a, uh, what is it called, a snap lock button seam over here where they just have to drive it together. Uh, I guess that makes it pretty easy to put together. When we do it our way, this last joint 
is a bear to get together and try to finish the box up. So what I usually do is just bend this flange here out a little bit so you can kind of get it angled in there. I've got that one captured already. So you just have to wrestle this one together and then work your way up. Um, that's the only way I've seen to do it. It's, it's almost impossible to put the back on it uh, if you try to put the four sides together and then flip it up where it's easy to work on. So you almost have to work yourself to a corner and then uh, get, that, get that last corner. Once I get it together, it'll be uh, easy peasy. And that'll be our plenum box. Uh, again, these are bent out. These are gonna bolt or screw to the bottom of the air handle. These will screw into the side of it. I did that because I needed the height. If, the, if height wasn't a concern, I'd have probably went ahead and made the thing uh, two inches shorter and bent them up here as well. It makes the insulation finish out more flush with the uh, top of the unit. But I need to come out of the side of this with a 16 inch round. So uh, I needed only 17 and a half to play with. So, it'll go on there something like so. So it's pretty much taking the whole side of that out. But that's going to get me ahead of the game when I get up there. Actually, I've got that, that made. I don't want to go much further with the duct because uh, I'm just not sure where everything's going to wind up breaking underneath that thing. So better to uh, make it once than, than uh, make it twice. So... That's just a, like I said, I just wanted to do a little metal video, really just trying this little GoPro out. It's a GoPro Black 9, Hero Black 9, Black Hero 9, I don't know. Anyway, I think the blacks have a battery you can swap and the whites do not. So it's uh, supposed to be the latest and greatest. Uh, I didn't want to buy a tripod or nothing yet because I really don't know how it's going to work out for this. Uh, if it doesn't do good at this sort of uh, video, I'll probably just uh, stick it on the dash of my truck and use it as a dash cam. But I'll, I'll go home hopefully tonight and edit this little thing so I can see how the camera's gonna do. And if it works out, I'll buy me some tripods and other mounts so I can uh, try to show some of the work. One of the uh, comments I had on my, my house uh, episodes was that I needed to show more of the work rather than just you know taking out my phone after I do something and taking a picture of it. So that, that's pretty much why I need a GoPro if I'm going to uh, do that you can't can't hold your phone and film yourself all the time so i uh, hope this helps someone i know everybody don't have a pittsburgh machine of course a lot of the things are exactly the same whether you uh, cut it out by hand like I say in the old days they used to just bend a, a flange on both of them and screw them or pop rivet them together so uh, you can build these things if you need to now is it cost effective not really if you can get the right part locally uh, this tuck probably uh, I'd say $10, $12 worth of steel and a lot of time. This ranges anywhere from $45 to $60, depending on uh, where you buy it, who has it. Uh, this one, the reason I couldn't use it on this particular application was A, it was, uh, it was too long this way, and B, it was so short, that 16 inch, uh, I'd have had to leave a flat edge coming out of there, and I decided since it, you know, if it had just been one thing, I would have probably went ahead and used it. Uh, I think that fits a comfort maker air handler and this is going to fit a goodman air handler these cabins are spec spec cabins uh, i think there's going to be well he's got three going right now and he's probably going to do uh, another 10 or 12 he bought some acreage way up in the mountains but like i say the road on the way up there is a uh, is pretty awesome so i'm going to uh, uh, definitely do some video footage of that so thanks for watching